More three Nickel State University freshmen were killed this weekend after being hit head on by an alleged drunk driver who has quite a record. Yeah, we spoke to a dear friend of the victims who is just trying to grasp why this happened. Erica Ferrando has the story. Those three girls were so beautiful and so caring and so adventurous and so loved. Aliana Ramirez graduated from Hanville High School this year with 19 year old Lily Dufresne and 18 year olds Haley Koss and Michaela Bowling. They were some of her best friends. Lily was the independent one. She would always look out for us. Michaela, Michaela was my other half. She was my best friend. The one to make you laugh. And Haley, Haley was my ride or die. She was literally the life of the party. Freshman at Nichols State University, Haley was majoring in health sciences. Lily and Michaela majoring in nursing. I know that they were really happy and I know that they're in a better place now. And I know that they're watching over me. According to Louisiana State Police, just before midnight Saturday, 39 year old Joey Clement of Thibodeau was driving northbound on Highway 20 in Shack Bay. Investigators say he crossed the center line and hit an SUV head on. Lily, Haley and Michaela were in that SUV after celebrating Lily's birthday. The three girls died at the scene. Clement experienced minor injuries. I feel lost without them, but I know that they're always here and I know what they I know that I have to keep going for them because they didn't get a chance to. They got it taken away from them. And that's something that no one should go through. Clement was booked in the Lafouche Parish Jail. His bond is more than $1.5 million for several charges, including three felony counts of vehicular homicide and his fourth DWI offense. According to the Lafouche Parish District Attorney's Office, Clement has previous DWI offenses in Calcasieu Parish, Ascension Parish, Lafouche Parish in 2017, where he was sentenced to two years, and now this most recent case. And you still continue to drive. You're taking people's lives away, and that's not fair. Aliana and several other friends have raised $50,000 so far to help all three families pay for the funerals. In Luling, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. A vigil will be held for the girls this Wednesday at 8 p.m. at the Lafron Performing Arts Center in Luling.